Hi, welcome to the VBC Daily 3. My name is Jeff Hoya, and today I'll be praying on Romans chapter 1, verses 28 through 32. Uh, this is the passage Pastor Paul Crandall reviewed yesterday on the Daily 3. Uh, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, we acknowledge you as the only true God, and we lift and praise your name. For you are the creator of all things. You made the heavens and the earth, and you spoke and it was done, and you commanded and it stood firm. And the day and the night are yours, the earth is yours, all nations and powers are yours, and you uphold all things by the word of power. And we thank you for your word. It's entirely true, and, it's, and it hurts, Lord, because your word exposes our wretchedness, how the human heart is so deceitfully sick and desperately wicked, how our thoughts are ever before you and nothing is hidden, and though the work of the law is written on the heart, but we didn't desire to know your ways. And like this passage says, we filled ourselves with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. Like sheep, we've all gone astray and rebelled against the very God who gave us life and every good thing. We fall miserably short of your glory. And because of our ungodliness and unrighteousness, you'd be just and right to condemn us all. You could have left us in our sins, but you have offered us forgiveness. You've made a way for us to be cleansed from our sins and shame. And you have offered us peace and reconciliation. And it's all possible through your beloved Son, Jesus. Father, I pray that yours would be reminded continually of your gracious love that pardoned and cleansed us. And oh, we, we pray, we plead, for those who are not walking with you, may you grant sight to the unbeliever that they'd finally see the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ our God and Savior. And may they finally wake up, fear you, and be broken over their sin and shame, and in turn seek Jesus as their Lord and Savior, the only answer to their sin. Father, would you please deliver them from the domain of darkness and transfer them to the kingdom of your Son, Jesus. Rescue them from your wrath. Free them from their debased minds. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. And we do invite you to come worship with us uh, tomorrow um, in person at 9 or 11 a.m. or by live stream. And uh, Lord willing, we'll be back here on Monday for No Daily 3. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day. And may God bless you.